We're now going to use Pascal's triangle to expand binomials. We're going to start with a simple case. Suppose that we are told to expand x minus 3 cubed, and we're going to use Pascal's triangle. So the first thing we do is we create Pascal's triangle to the third row. So we start with the zero row, and that's a one, and then we go one and one, and then two is one, two, and one, and then three is one, three, three, one. So now we take the coefficients in the order they're listed. So we're going to get a 1, a 3, a 3, and a 1. And then we're going to take the first one, and we're going to do it to the third power, and the second one to the zeroth power, plus the first one to 1 less, the second one to 1, plus x to 1 less than it was before, times the minus 3 to the second, plus the first one to the zero power, and the second one to the third power. So notice my powers add up to 3. They add up to this. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. It's symmetrical. So now all I have left to do is to evaluate. Well, minus 3 to the 0 is 1. So this just becomes x cubed plus minus 3 to the 1. That's actually going to become a minus 9x squared plus 27x, because the minus 3 becomes a 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. And then this just becomes a minus 27, and x to the 0 becomes 1 and goes away. So my answer is right here x to the minus 3 cubed becomes x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 27. Well, let's do another one. Let's do 2y minus x to the 6th, expand, using Pascal's triangle. And if you remember, we went 0, 1, 1 is 1 and 1, 2 is 1, 2 and 1, 3 is 1, 3, 3 and 1, 4 is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 5 is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, and 6 is 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So here's my coefficients. So we're going to get a 1, a 6, a 15, a 20, a 15, a 6, and a 1. There's pluses in front of all of these for now. And then we're going to take our first term, which is 2y, and it starts at the 6th power. And our second term is minus x and starts at the 0th power. Well, one thing I do to try and help out, I know I'm always going to get a 2y, and it's just going to go down. So I'm just going to write all of these in going down, squared. And I should end up with a 2y to the 0 as the last one, which is what I got. And then my minus x we will be to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth power. So again, 6 plus 0, 5 plus 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1, 5, 0, 6. Works out. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Now we just need 2 to the sixth. 2 raised to the sixth power is 64. So we end up with, as our first number, 64y to the 6th, that goes away, minus 32 times 6, because 2 to the 5th is 32, times 6 is minus 192xy to the 5th, plus 2 to the 4th times 15 is 240x squared y to to the fourth plus 2 cubed times 20 is 160 times a minus, so minus 160 x cubed y cubed plus 2y squared times 15 is 60 x to the fourth y squared plus, nope, this is going to be minus because it's a minus x to the fifth. 6 times 2 should be easy. That's just a 12x to the 5th y 
plus x to the sixth. Here is our expanded binomial 2y minus x to the sixth. So we use Pascal's triangle to create the coefficients. We then plug in the terms to the right powers, raise them to that powers, multiply it all out, and we end up with our final polynomial.